Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will discuss one more hexagonal prism where one of the edges of its base on HP and axis is inclined at 30 degree to HP. In the previous problems, same edges of its base on HP, but edge makes 30 degree to HP or 45 degree to HP we discussed. In the same question, one, one of the corner of its base on HP, axis may be inclined to HP. So if you wish to check the videos of those problems, check the description box for a link or check the channel playlist for that particular problem. Read the question, a hexagonal prism, side of base 24 mm and axis 55 mm long rests with one of the edges of its base on HP such that its axis is inclined at 30 degree to HP and the same axis is parallel to VP. Draw its projections. Base edge on HP, draw one edge on HP. We are having only two options in hexagon, maybe edge on HP or hexagon corner on HP. So if it is corner on HP, this is the position. After rotating 90 degree, it will become like this. As per our condition, edge is on HP. So this edge, so after rotating 90 degree, this edge becomes perpendicular to XY. Now what about actual uh, solid, this 2 to 3 uh, is the side or edge of the base is on HP. After the rotating 90 degree it will become like this. So we know what is the simple position hexagon. So draw the hexagon as per our position. This is the position of hexagon and give a notation side is 24 mm and give a notation as uh, two or uh, hexagon one at the top face another one at the base or bottom face so always bottom face is invisible base is invisible from the top so one two three four five six is the bottom face hexagon or base hexagon top face is a b c d e f so we can extend the projectors from all the corners to fix the front view. Front view axis length is 55. Extend and, and complete the longer edge and complete the front view as a rectangle. As marking the notation, if you see from here, from the bottom, BCD 234 is visible 165 so 1 dash 6 dash 5 dash is invisible from here see the cursor from here it is invisible that's why it is represented in the bracket next a dash f dash e dash must be invisible from here so a dash f dash e dash is invisible this is the simple position of hexagonal prism solid now we have to tilt the axis so anywhere in xy draw 30 degree thin line on this 30 degree thin line we can fix the axis so center longer edges is exactly on the axis so we can fix this length as 55 before that fixing before that we have to touch one edge on hp so edges of its base on hp which edge here it is 4 to 5 edge it must touch as xy so if if you want to make sure that it touching x y this length must be measured 2 dash 1 dash 2 4 dash 5 dash length be measured if it say for an example if it is uh, uh, 40 mm here from the axis above 20 below 20 that one edge must touch as x y it may it may not goes above x y or below x y and also same way this length must be exactly same as this length for that if you want to verify whether you have drawn it as exactly right or wrong we are having two options this base this is the base line must be 90 degree inclined to this axis or we can check one more formula if you want to check the base this is the base if you want to inclination of base is 90 minus theta 90 minus theta is 30 theta is 30 so 90 minus 30 is 60 this inclination must be 60 so either you can use this base inclination formula or the base must be 90 degree inclined towards axis so with this now it is easy 4 dash 5 dash in the middle we are having 3 dash 6 dash another end is 2 dash 1 dash this is what we reproduced just complete a, a rectangle from all the respective edges 
so this is step number three notations we can uh, use the same notations from step two front view the same front view now the story of uh, two family members meeting at the same point in a function so you extend the projectors this is one dash here it is one both are meeting at this point make it as one one two dash this is two so from the same vertical projector we are having one one and two one so here three six in the same vertical projector here we can extend six this is three complete six one and three one both are meeting at this point so three one finally four dash and five dash extend a vertical projector already with 5 and 4 is extended so this is 5 1 this is uh, 4 1 5 1 exactly on hp this both corners on hp if you see from the top it is invisible for us that's why it is represented in the bracket now you extend the top face of x7 a dash b dash there is a here this is a so both are meeting at this point make it as a1 finally it is b1 uh, next uh, vertical projector c dash and f dash this is uh, c1 here you can verify it this is c1 and this is f1 so c1 f1 completed final vertical projector is d dash e dash so this is e and similarly this is d complete both the faces of x7 this is uh, bottom face or base this is top face now join always the boundaries outer edges f161 then 6111 1121313131 c1 here we may start again from f1 e1 anyhow you can complete the boundary or outer edges of the solid after completing the outer edges of the solid if you see from the top this entire hexagon will be visible for you all the corners of hexagon is visible from the top so we can complete this hexagon all the corners as visible one a1 b1 then b1 c1 what about this hexagon only the top half will be visible this uh, 3 to 4 5 to 6 is invisible for us so we can complete 6 to 5 and 5 to 4 this 3 1 2 1 1 bottom half always invisible below the axis it is invisible for us then longer edges 1 to 1 dash to a dash will be visible 2 dash to b dash will be visible from the top so 1 1 a 1 2 1 b 1 must be connected as continuous thick lines what about the remaining this uh, 3 to c f to 6 is already connected 6 to f here it is 3 1 to c 1 so two uh, longer edges remaining is uh, 4 to d e to 5 it is invisible from the top if you see from here this is the bottom longer edges which is invisible for us so already 1 1 to a1 is visible so we can make the smaller portion as alone invisible because 1 1 to a1 is already visible so 5 1 to e1 this part alone we can make it as invisible line similarly 4 1 to d1 4 1 to d1 so this alone is invisible this 4 dash 5 dash exactly on the hp that is why it is marked in the bracket okay if you wish to check uh, any of uh, the similar uh, hexagonal prism pentagonal prism problems check the description box for a link on straight away you can go to the channel playlist of projection of solid refer all the projection of solid problems thank you